Kellyo at you. the Capitol. Opposition to the GOP plan isn't only coming from Democrats and some Republicans. Several medical groups are speaking out against it as well, including the American Medical Association, the American Hospital Association, uh, and the latest amongst these is the American Nurses Association, which represents more than 3.6 million nurses. Joining me is Pamela Cipriano. She's the president of the American Nurses Association. Pamela, good to see you. Thank you for being with us. Back in 2009, the former president of your organization, Be Becky Patton, stood with President Obama. They were in the Rose Garden together uh, at the White House as he made a speech pushing for health care reform. I want to play that for my viewers. We are going to get this done. Becky and I were talking in the Oval Office, and Becky just pointed out we need to, we need to buck up people a little bit here. <laughs> And that's what nurses do all the time. They buck up patients. Sometimes they buck up some young resident who doesn't quite know what they're doing. <laughs> you look at Becky, you can tell she knows what she's doing. And what she's saying is it's time for us to buck up. All right, Pamela, this week you sent a letter to lawmakers telling them, and I'm quoting here, the American Health Care Act threatens affordability, access, and delivery, end quote, for people across the nation. Tell me why you said that. Well, Allie, we're really concerned when we think about some of the changes that are proposed in this new law is that the tax subsidies, which are helping millions of individuals be able to afford health insurance, would change dramatically. Uh, uh, dramatically. So not only would they be reduced, but they'll be altered in terms of how, th how they will be available to individuals. The other concern, one of the other big concerns we have, is, as you're hearing from uh, many fronts too, is the uh, consistent opposition to continuing the Medicaid expansion. So whether it winds down in 2019 or uh, as the president is alluding, he'd be willing to negotiate an, an earlier end to Medicaid expansion. We know there will be millions of Americans who will lose that coverage. And these are some of the individuals who are least able to pay for any kind of coverage on their own. We were so pleased when the Affordable Care Act allowed states to make that uh, expansion and federal dollars certainly have expanded that. But in this new set of, of uh, legislation, that will really just destroy the availability of insurance and access to services for many individuals. Uh, Health and Human Services Secretary Tom Price, who's a doctor, uh, recalled a conversation he had with a former colleague about why doctors don't like Obamacare. Let's listen. They tell me that there are patients that come into their office, they make a recommendation for what they, what they need to have, and the patient cries in their office because they say, I can't afford that because the deductibles under Obamacare have gone through the roof. You have heard these arguments over and over, I'm sure, about why Obamacare doesn't work, and, and there are uh, legitimate criticisms of o Obamacare. Uh, but is there any part of it that you think works well that you would say to Tom Price when he says those things on, on TV? There are many provisions of the Affordable Care Act that the American public is also saying, and we support them in recognizing we want to make sure there is complete coverage for pre-existing conditions. We don't want any bar to inclusion. The provision that allows young people to stay on their parents' insurance uh, needs to continue. It, it is, again, the, the financial support of individuals who don't have the ability to pay that's very important. When we think about the number of individuals or the percent of individuals who are getting their insurance on the exchanges, it is actually a relatively small percent of the American public. Those are the ones, about 6%, those are the ones hardest hit with these uh, high premiums and high deductible plans. So we're in agreement that we need to find a way to make insurance less expensive. And, and for those right now who qualify for the tax subsidies, that's the best thing we have going. It, we can get premium support for them as well as the out-of-pocket cost sharing. And again, we, if, if we're going to work on this together, these are some of the areas that we think are really important to be able to lower the overall costs of health care and health insurance in this country. Pamela, good to talk to you. Thank you for joining us. Pamela Cipriano Thanks. is the president of the American Nurses Association. All right, developing